hi guys and welcome to c plus plus tutorial of a multiplication timetable developed using c plus plus builder now let me show you guys how this work we can always reset enter whatever value in there click on time table there we go reset enter value there we can exit out if we want no we don't want to exit yes we do want to exit and i'll take you guys straight in tutorial and we put one of these together hi and welcome to c plus plus tutorial for multiplication timetable in c plus plus builder let's start by clicking on create new there we go so i'm just going to expand the size of my form that much okay let's come right here you see right inside the palette we need list box grab the list box dump it right there then we also need T edit that is like the text box then we need T label and I'm going to also need T button there we go think I might need two of those buttons another T button and maybe just copy this one more make that copy control C paste all right so I'm gonna extend the size of every single component select it all let's go straight to the uh, to the object inspector here we need we need it we need to format the text so let's click on font and inside the font I'm gonna make that let's go for about 30 okay that's fine that is fine all right so this one I'm gonna call it timetable let's come in here that will be ED timetable And this button here, BTN timetable. And let's change the details of that to maybe multiplication or timetable. So let's come in here, change that to timetable. Okay, that is fine. And this label, I'm just going to enter a number. Very good. Get in there. This label of is actually a list box. So the list box come right down here. You can just change the name of that to LST. LST timetable that is fine and this is going to be btn reset this last one that will be exit btn exit every single component now has a name so let's come in here and change the name of that button to the caption will become exit and the caption of this will become reset there and I'm going to make them let's see if we can give them approximately the same size now let's double click on this button here the timetable double click on the timetable since I'm going to be using a do while loop so let's start by declaring the following variable Q then we declare another one J as integer and let's come in and say q equals let's initialize it with one why i would then initialize the j j will be equals i actually need to convert whatever we have inside the text box to integer so so string to integer so that's going to be ed timetable no that should be timetable timetable points to text there 
so that is fine so the two variable has been initialized now let's come right down here so I need to create since this is going to be a do while loop so that's the do then I enter what is known as a statement block come right down here and I'm going to enter my y y q less than and equals to 12 I want you to do as follows make sure you enter semicolon in there now right in here I'm going to grab hold of LST timetable then I'll ask that to add items let's make sure that the name is correct LST timetable yes it is correct okay LST timetable okay then dash add now the very first component we want to add is it has to be converted back to string so I'm going to say integer to string and what integer are we converting we're actually converting Q close that now we need to concatenate it we say enter a plus sign then enter speech back multiply by and enter another concatenation sign and I'm going to copy all of these just paste that right here and what am I adding in here that is going to be J add a J there so that's whatever coming from the text box now I need to then concatenate every single component here before we then multiply it I might as well just copy copy all of this and paste it right here and in here I'm just going to say Q multiply by J and why I will change this to equal sign all right I think that is all there is to it so I have a bracket here and let's close this other bracket there and underneath here just press enter we now need to increment Q so Q plus plus since it's a loop so we have to get it incremented okay so I'm going to try this out so let's go to the design view now inside the design view let's get rid of the whatever text content we have inside that uh, text box scroll right down get rid of that there we go there and let's bring this down a little bit I just want to try it out once it works the way we want then we can just tidy up things properly now click on run run there we go enter a value in there 9 there we go look at that multiplication timetable okay that is fine so let's do one one more thing I just need to increase this bring this down a little bit more or let's come in here I think it's going to be easier to come straight here and just change that to about let's go for about 600 there so that is fine so I can always drag now and these guys here let's increase their size I'm gonna make that about let's say 90 okay make the other two 90 by 90 as well okay bring it down and this down that's good now let's double click on this to take care of the reset school so come right down here resets we just need to clear so we'll come grab all of this paste it in there equals clear there okay so now let's clear the other one uh, we need to clear this as well paste that there and that is going to be clear okay I think the clear is fine let's come right down here now 
double click on exit so with the exit I will declare a variable here I'm just gonna call it int I exit so int I exit is going to take in the following let's say int I exit equals message yeah D L G position the following so I'm just gonna say confirm if you want to exit to exit that is my message comma MST confirm MST confirmation actually comma so I'm just gonna press enter MD yes no those are the conditions yes or no now enter zero I just want to make up my coordinates in there zero comma four hundred comma another four hundred comma m b yes that is the expected input and now use an if statement if I exit equals equals ID yes enters statement block just say I'd like you to close or you can always say application terminates either of the two is fine okay guys so that is it so I'm going to try it out now I'm meant to enter parentheses in there okay now let's run it oh before then let's just save these projects save all so I'm gonna call that CPP times tables right so let's save it in here and change the name of these to timetable with a u save now save this as timetable that is saving all no s save and i will then save the project underscore p there we go all saved now now let's click on run there we go guys so enter whatever value you want let's say seven there and let's clear it reset exit yes okay back on the form again let's drag this down a little bit more and bring all of this down that's fine and one more thing let's get the text in here in the text box let's get it centered so come in here see a line just select center and that's it save click and run there we go enter whatever value in there I'm gonna enter 9 there we go guys and that's how you create your own multiplication timetable so with that guys I'm gonna call it the end of this beautiful tutorial but before I go let me show you guys the lines of code one more time exit out back in here straight to the lines of codes have a good look a good look at the lines of codes let's yeah that is it and right here that is to reset and in here that is the exit lines of codes so run it one more time run bring this up enter whatever value in there let's go for 12 times table 
there guys so with that i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoyed and please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel thank you and bye for now